Look, bro, you know what's crazy? I've been looking all over YouTube and like I've been looking on the internet, looking at reviews and all that. There's literally nothing for the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, which is kind of surprising nobody really talked about it because I guess Samsung never really advertised it, but here we is. So this is brand new, the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 365G. My God, that's a name, Samsung. What is you doing, bro? They got the Galaxy Book 3s out now, so I don't know why they ain't call it the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 365G, but here we is. Let's go and unbox this thing and see what's good with this. All right, y'all, so we back here again at the not so legendary, but fuck it, I'ma keep saying it anyway, legendary unboxing table. And I don't know if y'all know this or not, but check it out. I'm actually recording in 8K, so look at your quality settings, you might see it. So I know like pretty much none of y'all got 8K, none of like that. Maybe some of y'all got 8K TVs, but this is more for like future proofing and all that, and I like to stay ahead of the curve, so now I'm trying to record 8K videos on my channel. We'll see how it works out. I'm editing on the Galaxy Book 3 360, and surprisingly, it's actually been holding up pretty good. For Samsung's entry-level laptop on Vegas Pro 21, that's actually pretty dope. But y'all. When I got this out the box from Samsung, I was like, damn, for real? Like, that's it? Y'all really just gonna go this low with the unboxing experience? And then I opened it up, and there was a Galaxy book. I was like, what the fuck? I did start like, Samsung, like, this is all Samsung was gonna give to us. But I remember this ain't the first time that Samsung did this to me where I just got it in the box like this. Like, that's weird. But anyway, this is actually way better. So we got Galaxy Book 2 Pro 365G, which is actually a better unboxing experience than the Galaxy Book 3 360. So I'll talk about this here in a minute, too. But look at this real quick. So first off, shout out to Nomad for this case, but... I just got this too. So this is the Galaxy Book 3 360 that I was talking about editing on. So I needed an upgrade for my Galaxy Book Pro 360 and like they really didn't have any options for like if I wanted the most powerful laptop from Samsung in a 13 or a 14 inch. This is pretty much the fastest I could get for a 13 inch. So yeah, this actually been holding up pretty dope. So I've been editing AK videos on here, trying it out and all that and it's been seeming to do pretty good. But this is where I last came from. So this is the Galaxy Book S and this made big headlines for how thin it was and it's still super thin. Like this is one of the thinnest laptops or the thinnest laptops I've ever seen. I mean, just check this out real quick. So we got a Snapdragon ACX up in here. So it's also another ARM-based laptop, which is why I got this. So what makes this different from other laptops and shout out to the Motorola Razr, but we got a Snapdragon ACX Gen 3. This Galaxy Book S over here got the original Snapdragon ACX. So I'm trying to see where we came from. So let's go check this out real quick around the box. So we got Galaxy Book here in the front with the laptop and then we got Galaxy Book 2 Pro 365G. So again, I still don't understand the name. First off, it's way too long. Second, like I said, we literally got the Galaxy Book 3 series. So why didn't y'all just call it the Galaxy Book 3 365G? Pro 365G, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. Because it ain't like that came out before the Galaxy Book 3 series because I ain't see that before. I literally just ran into it on the Samsung website recently. But again, anyway, on the left side, we got Galaxy Book 2 Pro 365G. On the right side, we got the Samsung logo. On the bottom, we just got some info about my model over here. And then at the top, we got Snapdragon. So I know Samsung was making like the Galaxy Book Go and all that with like the Snapdragon processor and all that, but it really wasn't nothing like the Galaxy Book S. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is like Samsung's first flagship laptop with a Snapdragon processor up in there in the minute now because i ain't gonna front it seemed like windows on arm ain't really doing too hot right now i mean it's doing all right but we only got like google chrome support and all this let's go and bust into this box here so let's go ahead and lift this up i don't think we need to cut anything here no we don't like i was saying there we go so we got a charger brick up in here like i pretty much expected so i'm not gonna use this because i got a nomad one but that's pretty small super fast charging all right that's cool let's go and throw that back in the box now let's go and check this out so this thing actually retail for it let me check this again because i forgot so i ain't gonna front this is actually some bs because samsung so just started their Discover Samsung event and they're doing a bunch of sales right now. So pretty much I missed out on the sale, but if we're gonna check out this price real quick. The Galaxy Book 2 Pro 365G is actually running for $1449 retail. So we're actually running for $1450. Now there was a sale. I'm pretty sure that we just missed it though. So if we look at Google.com, I think it was saying it was like $999. Yeah. So actually, no, it was running at $900, but it looked like they brought the price back anyway. So anyway, like I was saying, let's go and check this out real quick. And here we go. So we got Samsung in this gray color here though. So this is pretty much the only color that they had. And it looked like we actually got a fan in here. So that was one thing about the Galaxy Book S is, check this out. So if I go ahead and grab this real quick, you can see that there's no fan around this at all. So it's just really no room either. There's never no fan up in here. It could get hot, but there's never no fan to the point where we really needed it. But on here, we got a fan. So that's interesting. And it's a lot thicker. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the guys. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. But you can just check out the difference right there. Yeah, it's definitely, it's not that much thicker, but you can see that it is. So this one of them rare cases where thicker ain't always better. <laughs> 
Anywho, like I was saying, we actually do got 5G up on here, so that's pretty dope because on the Galaxy Book S, that's only 4G LTE. And we only got like a Verizon and an AT&T model and all that, so I hear it's actually unlocked, so that's cool. On top of that, we got more RAM, we got more storage and all that, so I think we got 16 gigs of RAM on here, and on the Galaxy Book S, we had 8. 16 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of storage, so I fuck with it, I fuck with it. So anyway, looking around this real quick, we got the Samsung logo, and if I go and grab my Galaxy Book 3 360 over here, so this is actually another 13 inch, so technically it's a 13.3 inch but it looks exactly the same as my galaxy book 3360 there really ain't no difference at all now let's go check the thickness and on the right side you can see that we got the galaxy book 3360 it's definitely thicker and i don't know if y'all saw that but the galaxy book 360 actually got the hdmi port which we don't on here and i don't really care because i don't use it i use a usb-c adapter so i really don't see no point in just having the hdmi port on there so that's just me anyway we got two usb-c ports so i don't look like one of them's thunderbolt but we do got a micro sd card slot we got an led indicator on the right side we got a usb-c port we got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then we got a sim card slot and at the bottom we just got a feet and all that and you can see that this thing is getting mad fingerprints already and we got akg but we got some stickers over here on the feet which i'll take off later but anyway let's go and open this up real quick and then we got this like fabric over here to go and cover the screen and let's go and take that off real quick so we actually got a snapdragon sticker just sitting right there so i mean it looks pretty decent so we got our regular keyboard over here as you can see with a fingerprint scanner on the power button and i'm telling y'all it looks pretty much exactly the same let me just start putting it in this case over here but if we go and open this back up here as you can see on the left side we got the galaxy book 2 pro 365g and then we got the galaxy book 3 360 on the right side they look exactly the same there really ain't no difference at all so they basically took the galaxy book 3 360 and then put a snapdragon chip up in it now let me go and take this and put it up against my galaxy book s so if you go and check this out real quick we actually got the sim card slot here at the bottom but it's actually just pull it out right there like that i prefer that because we don't need no tools so let me go ahead and open this up real quick and you can actually see here there we go so that's the difference right there we got the same exact screen size and then you can actually see that we have i feel like maybe less bezel on the galaxy book s oh uh, not nah, pretty much the same but you can see a huge difference here with the keyboards and everything so we got the trackpad which i feel like it's an all right trackpad it ain't really that nothing too special we got a smaller power button and fingerprint scanner over here but you can see that we got a larger like more wider one over here we got a little bit bigger of a trackpad in the galaxy book 2 pro 365g and then i mean i hear i feel like they they might feel a little better on the galaxy book s i ain't going front i like the click a lot better on the galaxy book 2 over here though and then like i said you got some stickers and all that so this didn't really come with no stickers or nothing so i mean it definitely looked cleaner on here but you can just take it off on here and then we got some other differences like we got a windows 10 logo we got windows 11 logo over here we'll check this out more in depth later so anyway let's go and throw this back here to the side the thing about galaxy books is for whatever reason they ain't dead when they come out the box but you can't turn it on unless you plug it in so i mean i guess that could make sense so it don't accidentally turn on so i guess that's cool but still if i press the power button you can see that this thing ain't gonna turn on so let me go and throw this over here and check out the rest of the box so we got an s pen so this actually supports an s pen so that's one thing about the galaxy book s2 is that they don't support an s pen so a few differences we got a snapdragon processor they both support touchscreen but the galaxy book s don't support an s pen we got 5g and then we probably got some more differences that we'll find out later but we got a user manual but you know we do with that we throw it to the side as always but let's go and check what's up inside this so it looks like we just got our user manual pretty much and then we got a sim card tool here at the bottom but anyway like i was saying user manuals you know we do with that we throw it to the side as always and then we got a pretty lengthy type c to type c cable and white so that's pretty cool and then we got a like i said brick that i was telling y'all about earlier so you can go and check that out for yourself that's all the specs of the power brick right there and that's pretty much everything inside the box so samsung really never did none too special with their laptop boxes so you know it is what it is but at least we get a charging brick unlike their phones they can't even throw shit up in there but anyway let's go and grab this real quick and let's go and plug this in so i grabbed me a power brick again shout out to nomad man because they sent this out to me so this ain't sponsored or nothing like that and i'm not just saying this because he sent it out to me but nomad really makes some dope products over here like look at this right here look at the size of this and then look at the wattage so we got 130 watts that's pretty crazy for the size of this thing and then we got three ports up right here and you can see that we got one of the blue ones i forget and what that means but we got one of the fast ports but yeah i love this thing whenever i bring a charger with me it's always this now let's go and throw this up on the charger real quick so we just got to go ahead and plug it into really any USB C port so it don't even really matter which one you plug it into so that's cool that's just the thing with samsung galaxy books so you can see there we got the led indicator blanket right there and we should get yep there we go so we got the same charging screen too as the galaxy book is so they it's just looking ancient they need to update that maybe with a bios update we'll get it but yeah you can see there we got 72 percent so they just don't turn on unless you plug it in so let's go and put this thing up and then we should have our led indicator blinking again so we do and then the, like i said the cool thing about this is is that it's 360 so we can just flip it around like that but yeah we can check out the camera and everything maybe in another video not in this video pretty much right now i'm just going to set this thing up and i'll get back to y'all
All right, y'all, so we all set up, we good. So it ain't really take too long, that's pretty dope. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go and pull up the camera the first thing anyway. So let's go and check this out real quick. So uh, let's go ahead, yes, I bet. So there he is. I mean, that looks pretty decent. Even after under all this lighting and all that, that's actually pretty decent. So I think we do get the same camera as the Galaxy Book 3. I feel like this is pretty much all the same specs as the Galaxy Book 3 360 without the Snapdragon and without the 512 gigs. So here's the thing. I never heard the fan kick on and I don't really feel like it's gonna kick on and it might not even have a fan to begin with. It just could use the same chassis as this Galaxy Book 3 over here like I was telling you. But overall, I'm just using it so far. I'm just scrolling through apps and everything like that. It feels smooth. I ain't really got new issues or nothing like that. Now let's go over here to the specs real quick. So I'm in the settings. We're gonna go over down here to about and then you can see here wait where is it at snapdragon hdx gen 3 that's dope so it's clocked at 3.0 gigahertz now i got my galaxy book s over here and we're gonna go and check it out on here too so click on the back we got snapdragon hdx and then we got a 2.84 gigahertz processor and then we got 8 gigs of ram like i was telling y'all we got 16 on here so i mean that's a pretty decent upgrade like i said this did come out a minute ago but at the same time i mean that's pretty dope to see that we got an upgrade like this it definitely feels smoother than the galaxy book s so far but one thing i'm gonna go and do real quick is i'm gonna go ahead and stop this video i'm gonna go and grab my sim card and i'm gonna go and throw it in here all right so we're gonna do this in one shot over here so i got my personal t-mobile sim card over here i got my keys because i got my sim card tool up on here and let me go and grab my keys because i got the sim card tool up on here and then let's go and just stick it up in there <laughs> let's chill, chill out chill out this ain't even that big of a deal so let's go ahead and do that all right cool now we got that let's go and take that up out there get my t-mobile sim card with my phone number up on here so i'm gonna go and throw that in the slot Go ahead and throw that in the Galaxy Book 2. So we should be in effect now. We're gonna go ahead and zoom in. All right, so there we go. New SIM card inserted, switch to SIM. Let's go and click on yes. And let's go ahead and check out this right here and see if we got any update. No service. I'm gonna go and turn off the Wi Fi. Still no service. I'm gonna just give it a minute to load here. All right, so it looked like it just turned itself off. I'm gonna go and turn it back on right here. Maybe it's just doing some profile updates or something like that, but I just went back. <laughs> it definitely just went away. Oh, okay, there we go. So it just appeared again. So I think it's just doing some profile updates. All right, so it says T-Mobile getting ready. No service and disconnected. Now it says LTE. Now it says connected. So where's our 5G at? So at least it says connected now. Now let me go ahead and go to the internet and let me go and see if it shows something. All right, so let's go and click on confirm and continue. We're gonna go and continue without data. Let's go and click on confirm and start browsing. And let's go over here to my website, Renovate. And as you can see here in my basement, I mean, it's loading. And by the way, I can tell y'all, I definitely hear the fans just kicked on. It's a tiny bit warm, but it's barely warm barely keep in mind though it's doing updates and all that so it's gonna be processing some stuff so actually here look at this this is actually pretty dope i did not know this about this so if you go and click on this we actually got an eSIM option so you can actually go and connect with the data plan through eSIM that's pretty dope okay samsung i see y'all it looks like you're not connected to the internet all right so i need to go and get on the wi-fi to do that but yeah you actually got an eSIM option up on here so that's pretty dope to see i was not expecting eSIM up on here so okay i'm with that i'm with that for sure so what i think i'm gonna go and do is get an eSIM through uh i don't know like mint mobile or something like that and then just go ahead and activate it on here now i'm only getting lte though i have 5g in my plan so i'm not really sure why i'm not getting anything maybe i need to go upstairs because i'm in my basement right now but i get 5g in my basement so i don't know when i go upstairs and if i do get 5g i'll go ahead and insert a clip right here all right y'all so we here at a local park and this actually be a good test of the brightness too but let me go and get up out of here real quick and then we can get a better test of this but actually you know what let me see real quick so if i go and click on this you can see that if i go and click on there we do got t-mobile 5g so let me go and hop up out the car and we can walk over here real quick so i got speed test over here we're gonna go to this bench and then we're gonna try this out. All right, so I'm sitting down. Let me go ahead and hit open here. I think I actually do got open already. All right, so no, I don't. Just gonna click on yes. And like I said, we're in a park, so ain't no Wi Fi. I mean, there is Wi Fi over here, but I ain't connected to nothing. So let me go and change the server to somewhere in Milwaukee. I don't know why we got all Chicago right now. I'm not even really near Chicago, but anyway, let me go ahead and click on go. And let's go and speed test this real quick. So you can't see it's at full max brightness. And we got 29 ping. We got 50, 40, somewhere around there down. Okay, it's not too bad, not too bad. And then we'll go and check the upload here in a second. So it look like we're gonna end here at 43, 44. So we is on T-Mobile and I checked the 5G, it's only sub six, so we don't got millimeter wave up on here. So we got about 13, yeah. That's about the uploads that we are gonna get up on here. So, all right, I mean, that's not bad. So now what we're gonna go and do is 
there's actually a sub six i think it's n41 somewhere around here it's not too far from here so i'm gonna go and try that out can't even get by i'm trying to hit a u-turn and go right there to go ahead and get some n41 can't even do that now with all these cars over here so i don't know if the sunroof being open gonna make a difference but i did it anyway so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna turn off the data and i'm gonna turn it back on just to make sure that we pick up some n41 i don't even know if we still is but we're gonna try anyway and as you can see there we do got t-mobile and now let's go ahead and click on go let's go and see what we get i can't really see what band we own but all right so it looks like we still getting about 22 26 23 so actually look worse than when we where we set so actually you know what what i'm gonna go and do is i know it can't pick up some f1 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go spin the block real quick and we gonna see if we can get it maybe somewhere else we'll see so I'm in another spot that I can usually pick up some N41. So I just disconnected and connected to 5G again, as you can see, different areas. So now let's go ahead and click on go. Actually, you know what? Let's go and change this server again. I don't know why I keep switching, but actually, you know what? T-Mobile's in Milwaukee now? All right, we'll do that. So we'll try this out and see how that go. Connecting. And if this don't work out, we'll just try another server, see if it changes. But I mean, we're still not getting any difference here, so. Yeah, it's kind of whack, not gonna front. Let's go and change the server real quick. So let's change that to Cyberlink Network. It could also be because I'm in the car, but I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not, just to keep it a buck with y'all. And yeah, we're still getting about 26, 25, 24, and it's still dipping and just fluctuating and all that. But what I'm expecting is about like 300, 400, something like that. We're not even getting that up on here. So yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. I did actually do a speed test in this area at night, and also, yeah, it could also be because it's in the daytime, so maybe it's getting throttled and all that. But at the same time, like, I was getting about three, 400 doing it on, like, a couple of Google Pixels. Right now, I'm getting about 26.98 and 11.91. So nothing really too crazy, which I wish I would have got something higher. But maybe if we try this again at night, I'll get some higher. I'm just not sure right now. Maybe I'll try it later. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go and get up out of here, man. So let me know what y'all think about this. And let me know if y'all want to see more videos up on this. Like maybe y'all want to see some benchmarking and stuff like that. It's actually pretty dope to have another Snapdragon laptop again. So let me know what y'all want to see, like I said. And I need to go ahead and figure out, like, what's this thing capable of? Do y'all remember when I was talking about how, like, I was editing on my Tab S9 and, like, the pretty much only thing that was holding it back was Android with that processor? Because the processor was capable, like, I don't know. I'm recording AK now, so I don't know if it's gonna hold up to it now but with 4k it was capable and i'm pretty sure that the snapdragon 8 gen 3 or gen yeah gen 3 i think it might be the same speed as the snapdragon 8 gen 2 for galaxy but i don't know i gotta go and check up on that so i'm glad to have another snapdragon laptop again man because this is like always been one of my interests it's like a snapdragon laptop instead of having like an intel processor with all that heat y'all know how that is but anyway i'm gonna go get up out of here man so appreciate the love and support as always man y'all always be coming through for me but i got some stuff to do today so thanks for watching if you like this video go and give this video a like and if you really like to go and subscribe go follow me on my social media at Ecentech on Instagram and X and Facebook, but Instagram and X are most active. But also, before I get up out of here, as I expected, we do got all the Samsung ecosystem apps up on here, so that's pretty dope. You can download Samsung Pass if you want to, and then we got Samsung settings, as you can see. I'll worry about the Samsung account later, but yeah, we got the display, we got all these Samsung specific settings, so I mean, we'll check that out later. But anyway, man, y'all be smooth. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace out.